So the other day while motoring, we noticed the white smoke coming out of the exhaust on the starboard engine. There shouldn't be any smoke in, coming out of your exhaust. If there is, you have a problem. There are three different kinds of smoke that can come out from your exhaust. Black smoke, blue smoke, and white smoke. Black smoke is carbon. Blue smoke means that there is some uh, engine oil in, in your exhaust. And uh, white smoke can be two th different things. One is vaporized water, two is uh, unburned uh, diesel fuel. In my case, I put my hand uh, on the on the smoke. Uh, I smell it. Uh, I didn't smell any diesel, uh, and the smoke um, dissipate really quickly behind the the board. So now I know that I need to take a look at my water pump. The first thing to do is to check the impeller to see if uh, it's still in good condition or if the veins uh, of, the, of the impellers have uh, been broken so the impeller is uh, not able to uh, push the water through uh, the engine. Of course when I checked under the engine uh, basin it, it was, uh, there was quite some water uh, so that was uh, indicative of a, a leak. So this is the raw water pump of a Yanmar 3YM30AE engine uh, which has developed a leak on the back. This is the back of the pump and um, usually the culprit is always the, the impeller which is uh, behind this uh, impeller uh, plate cover. But in my case, yeah, the water was coming from uh, from the back of the impeller and was uh, collecting under in the basin under the engine. So what we're gonna do now is uh, take uh, take this uh, water pump part and uh, replace the the seal. Uh, it's just a rubber seal that uh, has gone bad. All right, now the the pump is out. I just plugged the, the hoses. The most difficult thing was uh, getting the hose uh, on the bottom out of this guy. It was really hard. And this is the pump. It's operated by uh, a belt. And uh, yeah, in, in, in here there is a, a, an O-ring that I need to change. So you open up uh plate cover and uh, yeah the impeller looks uh, very good so the problem will be uh, the gasket on the back of the impeller on the on the shaft so by using a little tool like this you're gonna be able to pry from the inside and get the o-ring a little bit out and then you can remove it yeah and that's the culprit probably a dollar two dollars part so this is what what's called a lip seal and if you look at it very carefully, you may not notice any anywhere. It looks uh, pretty good. Uh, but the problem is that um, it contains a metal spring here in the middle that uh, rusts and, uh, and breaks. See, it's all, it's all rust. and it's all broken. This is the lip seal replacement for my Yanmar engine uh, 3YM30 uh, AE. And on Amazon is only $10, but here in Guadeloupe at uh, Fred Marine, uh, they charge me 35, uh, actually $38 for it. So you just uh, put the seal on the on the shaft 
and uh, you press it down and you're good to go so I pressed it down just with my fingers uh, making sure that it goes all the way in and now we are putting the impeller and um, for the impeller I recommend to use um, some silicone spray just to help the veins to, to flex in the right position and so that it's a little bit lubricated when you initially will start your engine uh, before you have a, a good flow of, uh, of water. Just a screwdriver like this. So when you put the pump back on, make sure you don't over uh, tighten the, the belt. The belt must uh, flex a little bit like uh, like this. Uh, don't use any any tool. Just use your hands to uh, to adjust the belt tension. Use some blue thread lock on the three bolts. Put back uh, the hoses. Remember to open the seacock, and you're good to go. All right, so what did I learn? Number one, uh, the lip seal on the water pump is a wear and tear item, so you need to carry uh, many of them as a spares. Uh, mine uh, lasted 500 hours. Number two, uh, because my other engine has the same uh, hours, uh, probably this lip seal is gonna fail someday. And so I will be proactive and uh, go ahead and replace it before it fails. And uh, number three, now that I've done it, uh, I'm pretty confident that I can uh, replace the lip seal uh, without taking the water pump out. Uh, I think I, I have enough uh, elbow room to do this uh, and, uh, and so it will be an easier and uh, shorter